Harvey Jr. speaking personally for me too now. If I've done something to anybody in this building that I shouldn't have done, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I want you to forgive me. You know why? Because You know when you ask somebody to forgive you, it's up to them then. <laughs> Let's go with it, Wally. It's our last song. We're going to have prayer. We was down in Goldsboro, North Carolina. A young lady came to our bus. There were so many people there. Tell a lot of people couldn't even get in. We was almost to go to the stage. She said, Harvey, can I talk to you a minute? I said, yeah. Tears were in her eyes. She said, Harvey, my husband, my husband divorced me because I'm 75 pounds overweight. She said, Harvey, she said, I took Slim Fan. I took diet pills. She said, I got on the treadmill. She said, I got one on credit and I scuffled to pay for it. I just couldn't lose. By the time folks she could get through talking to me, they called us on the stage. I didn't even get a chance to know her name. But young lady, wherever you are, don't nobody know about this but me and you. But wherever you are, Wherever you are, this song is for you. <clears throat> no matter how large, no matter how small, no matter how short, no matter how tall.
Is it anybody here that need reassurance in that? How many here ever feel like don't nobody love you? Don't be ashamed. Lift your hand. I want you to know God love you. I don't care what nobody tell you. I don't care what you've done. Somebody say, well, how about I'm out of Somebody say, well, how about I'm on drugs? But I just want you to know that. Reverend Cheers, uh, he's a minister, uh, he's a lead singer, and he's a friend of the Canton Spirituals. We're, we're glad to have him here with us tonight. We thank God for Reverend Cheers. But in case you don't understand, turn to 3, John 3 and 16, where it said, For God so loved the world that he gave. His only begotten Son, that whosoever even him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And you know what, Harvey? I was thinking about that lady you were talking about. There are women that have been abused. Some physically, some emotionally. But I thought about the other day when Mary Magdalene was standing in her trial and all the boys were standing around with bricks in their hand and I could see Mary standing there as they get ready to stone her to death you know every now and then when we stone the devil aren't you stone to death sometimes when you don't even know which way to go your friend will turn that back upon you let me tell y'all what happened where, where, where? She stood there, Jesus. Jesus come passing back. Anybody ever let the Lord pass back? Anybody ever let the Lord pass back? When Jesus come passing back, they say, well, Jesus, according to the Mosaic law, she has committed adultery. Should we stone her to death? Jesus didn't kneel down on the ground. Thank you.